<laughs> What's up, everybody? It's the Ice Man. Oh, I kill him here with Mickey James, man. I haven't <laughs> seen you since Massachusetts. I'm I know. Tampa, man. And it was a great show tonight, man. Thank you. I, I loved hearing the rest of your songs because you know somebody's going to pay us on the chart and moving up again. And, I know. I but saw it's, it's that. So Thank diverse. you. It's great. Now, tell us, you're going to the studio soon, aren't you? I am. Yeah. I'm trying to. I'm getting in there. Yeah, you're right, I've been you're pulling my. Songs? I have been. Really? Yeah. Give us a hint. Tell us what they're written um, about. Oh. There's this one song called One Night Stand Man. It's about, it's me. about you. It's like really that. weird how no, this is now. Awesome. It's gotten really awkward <laughs> because we're together. I know. Right. I'm one sorry. Night stand man. That's awesome. No, I wrote it with Bridget Tatum. Uh -huh. who she's, she's in Nashville. She's an incredible songwriter. I, I've actually, that one and Get Down, I, I wrote with her. Right. So I nice. feel like she and I have really good chemistry, songwriting chemistry right. together as far as for my own personal. So yeah, those two perhaps are going on there. So when can we expect that? When are you? Oh when are you God, we have well, he, we haven't even gone in the studio yet. Like I'm still right, in the so, song. So, so, you know okay. how that goes. So yeah, yep. that's cool. Uh, but this year. So so let me ask. Fall, you. Uh, latest fall. Well, that's cool. Yeah. Man, you Single, song, maybe a couple shot. months, right. not even. All right. So so tomorrow. His, tomorrow on your doorstep. I'll come pick it Is up. Is that what you're No. Yeah, no. <laughs> so let me ask you a question. Here, here's something I want to ask you. What gives you more excitement? Body slamming somebody and pinning them or having a awesome racket. Oh my goodness! Come on now, think about it. Well, because they're two different animals. You but know? what gives it's you like, that feeling? Oh. Like, ugh. like you know, baseball player. What's better? Like you know, they could say what's better, or hitting a home run, or you know, yeah, a nice little. I mean, what's what? Pinning somebody, slamming them and pinning them, or having a, a, an awesome racket. What's what? What do you think? They're so doing? like they're like equal, but in different like areas. You know, <laughs> like all right. wrestling for me, it's all like this masculine adrenaline driven yeah. kind of high that you get and that especially when you're in there with a good dancing partner you uh -huh. know what I mean when you're in there with somebody who can equally go as well as you and you guys can just make this right. magic happen like that's special because it's just the two of you and the referee so it's the yeah. three of you um, whereas on the stage it's you are as good as your band who is as good as the engineer right. who is as good as the sound right. who is as good as the show and as who is good as the fans who are like okay. we're giving you that energy right. back you know what I mean right but okay. it's also your a whole other side of yourself. Mm -hmm. I feel much more vulnerable on stage yeah. than I do in the ring. As weird as that sounds, so some, even though yeah, I can get I, a lot more hurt unless I fall off the stage. Well, which no, if, uh, but could if possibly happen. If something go, doesn't go your way on the stage, you just run up to the crowd and pick somebody up and just like. I was gonna, that? I was gonna dive, you know, and let's do the body. <laughs> Wait, tell me work. about the video. Somebody's gonna pick. Cause I love the. Vi I want to know about the guitar scene. I, I have to know when you slam the guy with the head. With oh the my god! So Jeff Jarrett actually taught me how to swing the guitar properly, yeah. if you will. Because there's the sweet spot that actually okay. where it shatters properly, you know, it, it gets yeah. a good, you know. Otherwise, if you get all rim, you know, it's not going to really shatter and it's just going right. to hurt really bad, but not look good. <laughs> How many right. takes? Um, so the first one, <laughs> okay. So, so true story. The first one, because this is this is my now husband that I hit in the right. head with the guitar. Yeah, right. So the first one, I went to go swing it, and I like I chickened out last oh, minute. It was like man. that because we only had two guitars. <laughs> okay. So we had two proper guitars that were made to like shatter and like right. do this whole explosive thing. Um, and I was scared, like, A, I was scared to hit him, and that I wasn't going to hit him properly in the guitar. Mm -hmm. I was, it was going to mess up the guitar that we, you know, we only had yeah. two. Kind of wanted to keep one. Mm -hmm. Didn't happen. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> so, yeah. Um, yeah, so the first one I went, what? Oh! And you stopped. I did. I did. And he, like, looked up at me, and the whole crowd, everybody, because, you know, we're all yep. filming, and we're, the whole crowd went, Arr. Uh. And I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> so, yeah. Two takes. Now, did you write that song, or did you somebody write? Somebody's it? gonna no. That's a um, Jamie Hartford song. Oh. Yeah, okay. it was released in the I want to say the '80s. Oh my God. Yeah. You, it fits you so well. Thank you. The video, the song, just you know, it fits you so well. R.S. Field, who was my producer, one of my producers, I had two producers on the last album. He was one of the producers on the second half of the album. And he found that song and he was like, I really like this song, and I think, you know, it's an older song, but. If you listen to the original, mm -hmm. and you go back and Google, if you listen to the original compared, it's, like when I say we threw on maybe seven guitars on it and just like rock the crap out of it, but it's it's a great song. And it just shows like a great song then is a great song now. It's a great no, song. No, it, it is, man. A great it's, song is a great song. It's one of those, yes. So, and, and one, I was really fortunate to be able to do that. It's that. one of those songs that you don't realize has been done before. Right. Right, because I had no idea. So, yeah. But, but that, that's awesome. So tell me the path. I mean, you know, you 
growing up, I mean, was music always a part? Was wrestling? I mean, how'd you go down those paths? You're so oh. diverse and awesome in both of them. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, I, well, obviously, I feel like a lot of it, uh, circumstance and right time, right place, mm -hmm. and, you know, training, uh, like all of these things were factors. But um, for music, I... I always loved music. I used mm -hmm. to record myself on like the little A-B tracks, you know, yeah. of singing, you know, I Will Always Love You and whatever else. I love you too. I love you. Thank you. I Although that was do. the song. I'm sorry. Oh, right. I'm getting carried away. Yeah, Whitney. <laughs> so, um, but yeah. And then I played the violin for five years. I played through middle and high school. Mm -hmm. um, and then I kind of just gave it up. Like, I just kind of gave up that... Because I, I had my horses, and that was right. what I was really into in, in high school, especially. Like I grew up, I rode since I was four years old. I still have mm -hmm. three horses. So um, through high school, my, my whole, all my summers and all my weekends were completely, like, encompassed with training and getting ready for the show season and, and right. doing that. Um, and then when I got out of high school, I was kind of like, I didn't have a whole lot of direction. I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life, and I was just kind of like, oh. oh but I was an avid wrestling fan. Like, right. loved wrestling. Absolutely. I grew up watching wrestling. That was my, my dad, my real dad, yeah. and, and my thing, like, that was our thing. Like, we'd see each other on, like, every other weekend or whatever, and we'd watch wrestling, you know, with my sisters and stuff. And who then, was like, the man when you watched it? Cause I, remember, I was, loved was it? the Macho Man Randy Savage. Randy Savage, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's my favorite. Okay. Like, his promos, when he would, like, walk in and he yep. would throw confetti in the air and do mm -hmm. the little spinny and... Mm -hmm. Oh, and he could talk about nothing for 20 minutes, and you would absolutely be, <laughs> right. like, on the edge right. of your seat talking okay. about cream of the crop, mm -hmm. right? It's just, yeah. he's the ultimate for All me. Right. Cool. Him, and then, as far as females go, Sensational Sherry mm -hmm. was my, like, especially when those two were together, oh, oh yeah. it didn't get better than that. So, for me, like, for the fan girl inside of me, but... So that's kind of like on the era that I grew up. But those were both very larger-than-life characters. Right. It wasn't just about... Right. It was about the characters. It was about their... Mm -hmm. Not just their in-ring ability, but the outside the ring and them being able to get in front of the camera yes. and make you believe everything that they were saying and hold you, like, right here. That's what I love about wrestling. Yeah. yeah. Right. Is that whole the theatrical part, the... Just the encapturing, you know, and making people feel... And I think that's the th same thing with songs and, like, lyrics in the mm -hmm. songs, is that you are able to make people feel something, whether they connect with like a real moment in their life or like a, something that they have witnessed, right. you know, then and they can feel it, then that's what really makes them like, you know, gravitate towards a song, yeah. Right. So, so are you going to encompass both of them? I mean, because you will have a, I, I think of the crossover. I mean, you've got such a huge wrestling fan base. I do. Now you're going to music, and then you got the music. So are you going to maintain both of them? Are you um, going to go on a path? Or, or what, you know, what do you I thought, like, here's the thing. It's like, so... I, I put my first record out by myself in 2010, mm -hmm. and I I was not like under this huge assumption like oh there's this massive crossover country music wrestling fans they're very right. much they're <laughs> in the same like they run pretty parallel right and then you're like but it doesn't really work that way like I'm almost starting I'm I'm very well known like for my wrestling side obviously yes. people are going to come out and see me for being the wrestling fans and stuff but when they hear the music it's a total different you know like mm -hmm. and, and getting people like it's almost like I'm starting. When I was working the indie scene, for, you know, in front of 20 people or whatever, it's almost like I'm starting that because right. you want to build that credibility and be taken seriously as an artist and not like, right. hey, that's that girl that wrestles. Right, not that a wrestler who decides to Right, that yeah. Right. So, um, in my, in this bench, like I've obviously I've, I've learned a lot, and it's like it's just cool to be able to perform and to be able to have mm -hmm. for my wrestling fans a different outlet for them to be able to know me, and then for my music fans. To keep right. putting out great music right. and and you know for them to keep coming to the shows and buying yeah. music and it's working. I mean, it's it's really cool because it's yeah. not just somebody who was a celebrity just trying to make some music to do something. I mean, I, I really enjoy what you got going on. I look forward to hearing what's going on in the studio. So thank you. We look forward to that. So, thank you so Iceman much. with Mickey Chase. We're at CMA Fest 2016 at the NCMA. Iceman bringing the best new country artists. Mickey just performed and just blew it out of the park. So I look forward to seeing what you got coming up pretty soon. Thank so you. Thank you so thank much. Thank you so much.